much like the Yes, very song. much like uh, the original <laughs> by World Dane. Obviously, Nevermore can have one of my favorite bands and uh, one of my favorite singers. Rest in peace, obviously. Uh, Heart Collector, how about that? Some yep. Nevermore. I think it's... You suggested this, or did... Yes. Yes. That's why I'm a proud husband. Not suggested, just told you. Uh, you uh, yeah, you told me playing. to play uh, Heart Collector, and... Uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> Surprised, very happy. Uh, one of my favorite bands. So yes, I'm very, very happy with uh, my decision to marry you. And uh, that's where we are today. In the Mel Morning number 19. Help! <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's been a while. It's been like uh, one month, a little bit more than one month. And uh, I told you guys that we would, you know, chill a little bit with the mail mornings because it's uh, it's a lot of work. I mean, you can see it now. We're fucking six cameras in, just setting all this bullshit up takes a fuck loads of time. So uh, no, but we felt that we stressed up the mail morning every week or every other week. So we we wanted to take our time and make it something that's uh, less, uh, a little bit more rare and more seldom, where we feel that we have energy to do them. So we, you know. And uh, here we are, Be number prepared. 19, and uh, new guitar. Oh, my <laughs> my shoulder cracked, did you hear that? <laughs> we've talked about this, but we're becoming old. Since the last male morning, we become like 10, we put on more than 10 years to our ages. I found my first gray beard hair, my first uh, white breast or chest hair, and it's Can I get going. Some gray Louis, has, Louis has some grays in there. Uh, I mean, what the hell? What, That's what is happening? We are. Not that we we don't really care, but you know. We do. <laughs> but I do. What? No, 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 no. I don't care. Oh, um... No. I mean, for me, it, you won't see it because I'm blonde. So it, it will take a time until everything is gray. It will be just like slightly silver. But on you, it's going to be, oh my God. You're going to see it. It's going to be divorce time soon. And, or uh, just, yes, uh, great. Tone the hair. <laughs> Okay. okay, let's do this. This is uh, everyone's favorite setup right here, where it's... <laughs> since the last... Since the last Mel Morning, a lot of things have happened. But obviously, since the last Swola, a lot of things have happened as well. If I would make these live every Sunday, it would be a lot easier to catch up with the news. Because when I record it, like, earlier in the week, like on a Wednesday, you have the Thursday and Friday news that I, I'm not... I can't cover. Because it's Thursday and Friday. But I, I'm doing my best. But I was thinking of making a live Swola one day. Wouldn't that be cool? Ooh. In the morning. No. Uh, uh, I have to think about it. <laughs> Anyways, Maybe. I have some great news to share. The global music business saw huge gains in 2021 thanks to streaming. The FP reports that the industry grew by a whopping 18.5% uh, in 2021 to 25.9 billion. That's incredible news and good news for the music industry and business. That makes uh, more labels make more money and hopefully also that more independent artists earn more money. Uh, I have to see the numbers with that. Yep. Before, it, but but you know it's good. There's some figures here to get a little better of an idea what the global industry looks like. Here are the top ten artists worldwide. Okay, BTS. Oh, yeah, I know the, what this is. This is the, the Korean Korean, guys, Korean band. Yeah. Uh, Taylor Swift. Okay. Yep. Adele. Drake. Uh, is that Drake's the guy that uh, dates minors? I don't know, but one of the biggest minor dating artists. people I know about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Has to be confirmed. This is not a legit uh, news outlet, <laughs> but I think he was dating a minor before she was 18 okay. years old. I think the news. Ed Sheeran, obviously, I know about Ed Sheeran. He he does all these collaborations with uh, with people and Bring Me the Horizon. Mm -hmm. The Weekend. Yeah. We listened to the Weekend. We did. Our son uh, likes the song. Yeah. That is the Weekend. Billie Eilish. Eilish. I knew Billie. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know about her. <laughs> Justin Bieber, obviously one of my my uh, role models. <laughs> Seventeen, I don't know what that is. That I don't know what no. it is. Olivia Rodrigo. And oh. I don't know. Her. No, okay, okay. So, but we we kind of knew eight All out of ten. All of the other. Eight out of t eight yeah. out of ten, pretty good. Streaming numbers for top singles were also pretty insane. The Weeknd had the number one single in 2021. Save your tears. Yeah. Tears for another day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Two point fifteen billion streams. Damn, son. Oh, The Weeknd has two. He has Blinding Lights as well, which is the song we've been listening to in the, yeah. uh, in the car for my son and my, uh, my kids. Bad Habits, okay. Uh, oh, anyways, I thought it was interesting. Uh, I don't see any metal uh, 
no. acts on this <laughs> list, but that's okay. We're still strong, guys. Okay? We, it's not popular yes. music, pop? No, but I think that's, uh, we like that it's not popular. <laughs> that's good. Okay, next piece of music <laughs> that we check out the band ba Bastardane. Uh, Bastardane? Oh, it's, it's Danish. Bastardane. Featuring James Hatfield's son on drums. Look at his beautiful faces right there. Oh, he's doing, <laughs> I, I think he's doing one of these. Oh, in front yeah? of the camera. Yeah, it looks like he is. Can we do that in slow motion? Is that a slow motion camera? <laughs> that hurts my head. Don't do that oh. after 40. What? How does uh, James Hatfield's son's band sound like? <laughs> Sounds like Metallica. <laughs> Okay. But with grungy vocals. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Just searching the Oh, yes. Job. Here we go. Raise your fists and your teeth. Dude, I pleasantly surprised. It sounds pretty good. It's a, it's a little bit Volbeat on the vocals. Just slightly, <laughs> slight, a slight <laughs> Volbeat on those vocals. Okay. You have to be careful, guys. You don't want to go there. Just saying. It, <laughs> stay where you are. Stay where you are. That, that was actually pretty, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty pleasantly surprised. When Luis is on the show, we don't talk that much about new guitar things. It's more about music, right, in yeah. the middle morning. Yeah. It seems like, but we have to talk about guitar things because there's a, there's <laughs> a couple of happenings that are happening. Okay. And uh, everyone and all the Fair YouTubers enough. out there are talking so much about the new Gibson model. Okay, so 1957, the uh, like one of the lead uh, company's former president, Theodore Ted McCarty, uh, of Gibson made a shape, a guitar shape. And they are now, in 2022, launching this particular guitar shape. So they yeah. have never launched it until now? No, 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 no. It's a 65-year-old sketch that they made a guitar out of. Let's okay. watch it. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to let you uh, judge. But look no, no. It. if you take a look at it and tell, you, tell us what you think, it's a legit and honest reaction. Okay. F for me, it's gonna be in just another YouTuber reaction. So it's not gonna, I'm not gonna go there. Okay. People like to bash Gibson, I, I don't. So let's just have Luis check it out. What, what Look at anymore. this thing, there it is. That's the one? That's the one right there. It wasn't really pretty, no. <sighs> Maybe it was pretty back in the day, 65 years ago. Do you know what I think it looks like? It looks like uh, a lotus flower or something like mm. that. Okay, yeah, 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 I hear you. It's but like a drop. But the just, I don't know. It, the fact is that they didn't actually, this is not the initial design. The no. design for this was meant to be like a, a teaching guitar for okay. like a smaller scale teaching guitar for kids to learn to play guitar. So, but they turned it into a real full size guitar. It's not what the initial sketch was. Let me see if there's a, look at these different variations. Look at this. So there's, it's, it doesn't even have the same headstock. No. And what? Uh, that one looks better because the other one looks Looked like a banana or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> banana headstock. Yeah, the, well, that's the classic uh, like hockey stick uh, Gibson headstock right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but but this old thing, right? Look at that. He's pointing at the f hole. <laughs> uh, that, that's what it's called, by the way. Uh, so it's yeah. yeah. I agree. It, the layout looks better on the sketch. I don't know. I, it's I haven't said anything. I don't. No. I haven't said what I thought about this. And I'm honest, said, I don't have to like everything everybody does. There you go. It's okay. I didn't think it was pretty. There you go. Thank you. That's okay. All right. I have some juiciness for you right here. Joel found this clip and he said like, you should check out this clip. It's Jackson okay. introducing the all new Jackson concept series. I've already shown this on my second channel, but we haven't sent a demo. So we're going to watch this uh, demo right here and see if you find something uh, nice in the video. This guy's great guitar player. He does all the videos for uh, uh, Jackson, EBH, and uh, he's great. The cool thing about this video, though, is that the more you watch it, the more the shirt opens up. <laughs> and you can see more and more of what's under me. That's nice. And the white hair on the chest. Oh my god, you have to watch out. This was a treat for you. This, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> that guitar is beautiful. Yeah, that too. But the chest is where it's at. That's uh, <laughs> just saying. I mean, uh, it's uh, as you have to hold the guitar right mm -hmm. there. It's like, yeah, you have to film that area. It pulls but of the course, eyes you could have into. Had a shirt. I mean, <laughs> I'm a guy, and you know, I'm kind of being pulled in by that chest right there. 
And he's like, mm, yeah, I'm pretty good looking. <laughs> kind of almost look like uh, Bolton. What is it called? Michael Bolton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that I hear you. Her? Yeah. The guitarist looks nice too. The guitarist look nice, yeah. uh, but the uh, winner of this video, I guess, is this piece right there. He has a cross there. <laughs> so there you go, a little treat for Luis. And the ladies, <laughs> we know that you're watching right now. That's, that's for you. It's getting hot. It is getting hot. I'm, I'm, I agree. So Decapitated had released a new single from uh, their upcoming album. And we haven't heard anything from Decapitated in a long, long time. So this uh, has me really excited because I'm a great fan of Decapitated. Uh, I would say they're one of the few bands that might sound a little like Feared, in a way. Okay. But they're probably more death metal. I don't know if I've heard them. Uh, we toured with them back in the day in the, with the Haunted and at okay. the Gates in the US. And uh, Polish band, Dave, uh, you know, Krim, the drummer, he, he used to be the drummer of Decapitated. He, I've worked with him in Elvog, for instance. So there's okay. a couple connections there. Yeah. Uh, great and awesome band. And uh, they have released a new song called Cancer Culture. The guitar player is it's just a beast, our guitar player, uh, Bog. And uh, that's the guy who sent me the tabak. Okay. Yeah. You, uh, so, so I could learn the, the, the songs proper. And I think Cancer Culture, the name of the song, is obviously about cancel culture, if anything. And they're calling it Cancer Culture. But uh, when they were in the tour in the US, they were in a very weird situation. They got arrested mm -hmm. because there was a fan or like a groupie who accused them of of rape, basically, oh. and but it got all called off. But they were in jail and sat like it, oh. It, it, oh, no. it, it was terrible for a while for them. Cancer culture, they're back a little bit, you know, get a little bit of a a redemption. But what I really like it about the Captain is that you have the brutalist elements and you know real death metal, but they still have the Pantera groove coming in here and there. Yeah. And that that goes straight to my heart. <laughs> so you can hear that Vogue is a Dimebag fan. I really, that's something I really appreciate yeah. about this band. F***ing hell. Cancer culture, everyone. Also, Dream Fitter James Labrie is releasing a song called Devil in Drag. Uh, okay. Let's uh, check out a Devil <laughs> in Drag. Is it like a solo project? Yeah, he's been doing so uh, yeah. solo projects before. And uh, I listened to the first solo album he did. It was really, really great. There was, there was even some growling in there. I, I'm not even sure it was him growling or not, but okay. there was like a real, a little medley uh, singing. In conjunction with him releasing a single, there's been a bit of news as well, or rumors that James Clary is lip syncing live. Okay. Which I know for a fact he is not. He's definitely not lip syncing live. I mean, you go to a show, you hear him. It's not always perfect. It's very honest. And you know, I really like James Clary as a singer. He's incredibly awesome. Yeah. And I can say for a fact that he is definitely not lip syncing when he's playing live. So that's complete bullshit. And he also uh, lashed out at the rumors the other day and said that it's complete bullshit. Uh, it just sucks how the internet works nowadays. Yeah. All right, a little acoustic -y sounding. Yeah. There he is. He is totally lip syncing. <laughs> and he's on fire too, figure. poor guy. Hang on, listen to that. He's singing and on fire at the same time. I mean. How badass is that? Yeah. <laughs> Not many people and singers can very do that. Very dedicated. Very, I'm very impressed. So there, the new James Labrie single, What is the Beautiful Shade of Grey, are available here. So you can pre-order the album. That's cool. I know it's uh, Marcus Fogli, great guitar player, playing in this uh, rendition of the uh, of his solo band. So that's cool. Next piece of news, <laughs> Phil Anselmo wants to do an old school metal project with Judas Priest type vocals. That could be cool. Is Phil gonna sing? <laughs> uh, to quote, I don't know, man. I'm this close, man. I'm this close. I'm feeling something. We'll see what it is. I've got a couple of options. I just don't know, man. If it's gonna be Mel, I want to do it old school, man. I've been kind of man of feeling more Halford man lately, man. <laughs> Local vibes, just man singing using my man range again. So we'll see. It's gotta be right, man. So uh, okay, we'll man. see, man. <laughs> I mean, he could probably pull it off. I. You know, he's had a couple of years where, you know, you can hear that his voice is aging a lot, but, you know, I, I think that if, as long as you practice, I think you can still practice up your skill again. Yeah. So, I, you know, I don't doubt his skill because he's an excellent singer. I mean, we heard the Pantera albums. I mean, fucking Cemetery Gates, yeah, man. Yeah. He was at the top of his game back then. And then he, you know, he destroyed his voice a little bit, bit maybe with the rest of Pantera, very harsh sounding yeah. vocals. And, you know, that happens. But I think that's definitely something you can practice up. So not sure if he can pull off a complete Halford, but he can probably get the work done. I mean, awesome. I wouldn't mind hearing 
some of that old style uh, early Pantera singing yeah. because he, he did it really well. And uh, you know, I just love Phil's voice, man. I, I, I yeah, I want to hear it. Dave Lombardo joined Testament again, and this makes me really happy in my pants because uh, Testament and The Gathering was Dave Lombardo. And here's a clip back from 1999 with Dave Lombardo on drums. One of my favorite songs, DNR. This is such a kick-ass song. You know, Dave Lombardo being part of that album, one of my favorite Testament albums. It bodes well for the future. It's a, he also said that he wants to write with Testament, so... You know, I'm a big fan of Gene Hoagland as well, uh, the previous drummer. But, uh, I, I don't know, there's just something about Dave Lombardo, man. I mean, still to this day, he's just ripping it. One of the pioneers of death metal drumming, you know, in Slayer and all that. It's exciting times, man. I think, you know, you saw it up here. Global music business saw huge gains in 2021. I think in metal, it's... We're gonna have a great year, I think. I'm really looking forward to this year. Last but not least, we have to watch them kids because, you know, it's... Uh, <laughs> it, ugh, man. We have to check out these kids. They uh, crush Korn's Freak on a leash. Eight-year-old girl. All right. Okay, so they... Okay, the drummer does not look like a kid. Or that guy either, he's not a kid. But that's a kid right there. So it's basically a grown-up band with a kid on vocals. I don't know, I've seen a trend with kids doing covers, and that's what we watch today. That's like the entertainment uh, yeah. we, uh, that get, it becomes popular nowadays. How old is our daughter? Seven? Yeah. I think it's time. <laughs> yeah. I think it's time for a cover. Let's do some cryptos here or something. Slit your guts <laughs> with uh, my daughter on vocals. And she's very artistic. She's she can pull it off. She yeah. can pull off fucking <laughs> uh, Gorguts uh, or cryptosy, no problem. Yeah, yeah, man. She, she, she's got the melody done. Yeah. Done. So Good job. That's cool. Good job, little lady. So there you go. That was the news, everyone. Album tips. It's back, baby. Uh, we haven't done an album tips in a while, except that I gave an album tips in the last Swola. But, you know, Louise haven't given <laughs> an album tips. What have you been listening to? I've been listening to Soen, the yes. new album Imperial. Okay. It, yes. It was released uh, last, last year, year. Mm -hmm. um, but I missed it, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I found it now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I've been listening to Soen for quite some time. Yes. Uh, so, of course, I wanted to check this one out. Mm -hmm. It's very more easy listening than okay. the previous albums. Mm -hmm. The previous albums are more uh, proggy, mm -hmm. more like difficult. Yep, technically this is, difficult. Yeah, this is much easier and more um, maybe radio friendly. Okay. Easy to listen to and easy to have in the background. Yes, okay. To me. Yeah, you know what this reminds good. me of a little bit? I, I'm not, comp I, you know, I've listened to so on and I agree with what you're saying, mm -hmm. but when I listen to this, just straight off the bat, I haven't heard this album. It sounds a little bit like Catatonia. Yeah. With, uh, yeah. This at least, this part. Even this little guitar thing sounds like uh, Carnival. Yeah. And the album is uh, much happier. Okay. Happier. Yeah, because the the, the ha happiness ones, is not always a, a bad thing. No, it's uh, it's it's brighter in the feeling. I mean, the, okay. the previous albums are a little very bit more uplifting. dark and uh, melancholic. Okay. okay, okay. These are much. Uh, Happier. Okay, uplifting. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. All right. So I have listened a little bit to the new Ghost album, and it's funny. The album name is Impera, and you, the Soan album was Imperial. Oh, oh Ghost. <laughs> no, but uh, I've been listening a little bit to this album. I can't say I, I'm, I, I can give it out as a tip. I'm not going to do a review or anything like that. I can t give a tip about it, even though Ghost necessarily don't need me to. <laughs> you know, push them because oh, they're yeah. incredibly huge as a band. Yeah. But uh, I want to do a little shout out because I did listen to this album. And uh, what I liked about this album, uh, and why, for me, very good in the background, just like you said with yeah, Soen. Yeah. But it seems that Ghost have already written all their hits. Yeah. And this album seems a little bit more out of the box. So this one, for instance, it's like, they're taking more liberties, which is what I like. Before it feels like, you know, you know, when you listen to Ghost on the previous albums, you kind of know what you're getting. Here's a little, like, there's a couple of curveballs here and there. And it's like, hmm, I really appreciate that. So, uh, I've listened to the new Ghost and Para. I think it's, it's, it's good. I can't say that it's awesome or super awesome because I need to listen to it more. Yeah. But uh, so far, so good, man. Uh, I, I had an album tip for last soul, so I kind of blew everything before okay. this mail morning. <laughs> so there you go, album tips.
Good shot. <laughs> Welcome to Ola and Louise tasting shit. What do we have today? Joel I'm, has prepared for us. Joel has prepared for us uh, five different glasses of different Coca Colas, and yep. we're gonna figure out which one is which. Now, uh, you drink a lot of Coke Zero. Yeah. And I drink a lot of Coke Zero. Basically, that's the only type of Coke we drink. So in today's test, we're gonna put them head to head and we're gonna guess which one is which, basically. So we have a Coke Zero there at the at left, Pepsi Max, regular Coke, regular Pepsi, and then Premier Zero Sugar Cola. It says Premium or Premier, but I think it's like a, a cheapo brand, probably. I guess. I guess. So uh, I guess we're just gonna start and then we write down our answers and discuss, I guess. We have papers over there. Right. And one pen. All right. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Yep. Okay. I think this is not Coca Cola. Maybe Pepsi. Maybe Pepsi or the Premier. Okay. I'm gonna curveball. I'm gonna take number f uh, three. Mm -hmm. I think this is regular Coke. I'm not gonna write them. I'm, I'm, I know for sure. I'm not gonna. I don't have to guess. Coke Zero. Are you sure? <laughs> I think I f***ed up my palate. Now I, everything Pepsi. tastes the same. Yeah, I, I think I agree. This is probably the regular Coke, number two. Yeah. This is Coke Zero, number four. Yeah. And uh, the I'm other... I'm having a hard time with these two. Yeah. It's either Pepsi Max or the regular. You take this no. so serious. I have an answer. Okay. For me. I think we're pretty much set. Yeah. Let's put them okay, like this. Okay, yeah. Like smart people do. Uh, like that. Regular. All right. Did you agree on uh, this? I, I, yes, I agree. Definitely on the uh, Coke and the Coke Zero. But I'm not too sh uh, certain about the Pepsi. Yeah. Which one did you like most? Without knowing now. I think this one. Yeah. Um, tastes the best. But it's also like when you taste it, it's too much sugar almost now. I think that we're going to have a very burpy afternoon after this session. Okay, should we have a look? Easy. Number one. Uh huh was actually Pepsi. Oh, okay, okay. Number Weird. two, we're correct. Coca-Cola. Number three, it was the premium. Okay. That was one of my favorites. Ooh, you have a new favorite. Number four, it's correct. Mm -hmm. Coke Zero and then Pepsi Max. Okay, Number okay. Number five. So we got... Those were correct. Yes, Coke, Coke is correct. And those three were, yeah, kind of mixed. Yep. That is so strange. Like, this was one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I just can't stand Pepsi, man. It's not, it's a different type of soda. It's not Coke, you know? <laughs> I don't want to take sides either. You know? I mean... But I enjoy probably the Coca-Cola the most because it's sugary and... You can feel it on your teeth, like... Yeah, the sugar. after drinking, like... So uh, I, I, you know, probably this is still my favorite. <laughs> but I think it's uh, kind of interesting to know that since we drink Coca-Cola, mm -hmm. we could find them. Yes. Of course. And we did. Of course. I don't know. Did we learn anything from this? Well... Probably not. I think we have to make a test where we try all the different other bullshit Coca-Cola flavors. You know, vanilla and, and lime and Yeah, lemon. only the... And the, the, the weird ones. ones. Pepsi, I'm sorry, but you suck. Are you a Pepsi guy or a Coke guy? Let us know in the comment section. It's a full-blown <laughs> war where Coke wins, basically. There you go. <laughs> Ola and Louise Tasting Shit, thank you so much for that. Please give us suggestions of what to test in the next and upcoming uh, Ola and Louise Tasting Shit. And uh, I'll... S Goodbye. <laughs> question of the day. The questions that keep on being questioned. And we answer the questions uh, so many times. Basically the same questions over and over because people eventually run out of questions. But we do have a good question today. Codename Cuervo or Suervo. Ola, we see you and your awesome wife uh, Luis, uh, jam out every other Sunday, now every other month, okay? Uh, but never really discuss bass equipment too much. What kind of bass amps or amp program sims do you recommend to get a true Swedish death metal tone? Okay, so maybe Luis, you can pick up the bass. Okay. Uh, obviously, she's using a solar bass. The pickups are passive, but it has active electronics in it, so it becomes sort of active. You have a good camera? I have no idea. I There's so many cameras, I, I just... No. With this, I'm, you, right now, can you play a little bit? Yes? <laughs> yes. Uh, maybe can, can you play that Megadeth song? No. <laughs> da, da, da. Uh, it's, we're using Neural DSP Parallax right now, which is a plugin. And the funny thing is, there is a preset in there called Feared. And that's from Ermin, 
who mixed uh, one of the Feared albums back in the day, and he made a Feared preset in okay. the plugin called Feared. And I'm using the Feared preset because, you know, it sounds like Feared. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, nice. pretty, pretty easy. So that's, I think that's what you're playing right now. And obviously it sounds different with a guitar pick. Do you want to show or? Oof. Yeah. Do, do you mind me yep. giving it a try? Yeah. Just to hear. Uh, I, I, I have when, never played with pick, so. So when I play, play with a. So are we listening to the fear? Right now? We are. Oh shit. Oh, the volume wasn't a match. That's uh, demonetized. You know, dun 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 dun. <laughs> it's slapping actually, but people don't yeah. notice. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of uh, flea right there and yep. uh, fieldy. So that's what we're using. We're using parallax. I think it sounds pretty good. And uh, Louise is obviously practicing in before every metal <laughs> morning, so she's becoming better and better. But we have we also had a question. I have to re read this. Uh, Jesse Lee King is saying, "Why people talking smack on Ola's pretty wife? Shit, at least she's trying. She's ta they're talking about the bass, obviously. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. She's learning bass guitar to jam with her hubby. Don't worry about the haters. And maybe some aren't hating. Some may actually be giving us a few pointers. Just keep practicing. I thought you rocked that Machine Head song you played a while back. The thing is that people think that this is very very serious business." But I mean, <laughs> but we're, we're, we're just, just having joking fun. Around. We're just yeah. joking around. We're having fun. And yeah. Louise is, you know, she's seriously practicing for every song we're doing in Mount Morn. Yeah. But it's not like you're sitting and practicing not, every day. I'm not actually learning no. to play bass. I just no. she learn just, this the song. song. Exactly. Yeah. You're not sitting to become no. the ultimate bass player. We're just, you know. I'm doing this for fun, okay? I'm exactly. not going to be uh, playing in a band. But too. people are very <laughs> serious. So that's, uh, that, uh, that's okay. I understand that. Sorry to not to take your interest seriously. I just, <laughs> I just don't want to be a bass player. There it is. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to support us, go check out our merch site, oldenglandshop.com. Uh, get some t-shirt and merch and make us work, you know, because uh, Luis is packing and, and uh, Maria is packing. Joel has to print the t-shirts. Yep. If you order a cup, my brother has to come in there and make a cup. <laughs> so, you know, everyone pitches in. Yep. It's, it's really a cool and small little family business. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great Sunday. Goodbye. Bye.